You know what? We're finally realizing that nothing beats beef. Hey there, NJ, Route23.com here with another low carb keto carnivore chat. And this is about meats, good old red meat, beef, cow meat is the best of the best. And I, I haven't found anything that even comes close. You know, we've been carnivore light for, for a while now and we're getting better at it every day. We still remember carbs. I mean, it's crazy. I make delicious foods. I make pizzas and popcorn and all sorts of breads for my family and, and I've gotten really good at it. I don't even taste it anymore and I have to like rely on, on my family. So I'm not even tasting it or cooking it for my own preferences, even though I try to think what people like. But you know, I'm getting stronger. I have my resistance is, is getting really good. But meat is, a, is kind of a different story altogether. Meat is the go-to for, for me, and it's usually the only food eaten for people that are, are uh, in the carnivore light zone. And true carnivore eaters just eat nothing but almost practically raw red meat. But there's a big difference in, in uh, the meats. Now, I noted a while back that chicken, I, I started noticing that after not eating chicken for many months, chicken made me feel a little bit funny. Not really horrible the way, let's say, eating a hero sandwich would with all those carbs but the chicken inflamed me or did something i don't know and it was even organic chicken so it's not i can't blame it on the on the, the processing of the of the chicken other meats like pork and ham and bacon don't throw us off at all the way chicken does so i can eat I, i've been eating fairly regularly pork sausage and uh and ham but i noticed an interesting trend as of late and it's it's in the pork and ham category and I'm, I'm wondering uh, what what that means it's the amount we eat when I make pork chops I, I can't seem to stop eating pork and we made a ham for a, th a Christmas dinner two hams they were a rip off at Whole Foods <laughs> it was like the size of a softball and it was like twenty dollars it was ridiculously and it wasn't spectacular but it was it was good it just wasn't worth the money we paid for it but I have a theory about why and I think it all boils down to the fat. Fat satiates you. You know, most of the ground beef I buy is always 80% at the very fattiest. I don't, I mean, I, every now and then I might buy an 85, but I never go 90, 93% lean ground beef. It just doesn't, doesn't cook as well. The texture's not as good. It's not as juicy. While most of that fat in a, like a 80, sometimes I even get 73%, the really fatty stuff. But I'm learning now that even though it's tons of fat, it's almost too fatty and, and it, it really shrinks in size. So uh, the 80% is my sweet spot. But you know, while most of that fat cooks off, if you cook your burger right and make it medium rare or medium at the, at the least most cooked, the fat, much of that fat, excuse me, remains in there. But the pork chops and ham loins, they're like 96 or 99% lean. So that's probably the reason why I'm eating them like I, I had three pork chops. They were thin, thin cut, but I just kept eating them. I'm like, I can't stop eating this. And it's the fat in the system that, that sends the, the fat in the food, excuse me, that sends the signal to your body that you, you've eaten. You know, in the medical journals, what do they say? They, they have studies. I, I don't really care about what they say about these foods. I'm basing these, you know, conclusions based on my own experience. I'll always forever eat prefer eating a good fatty chunk of red meat. Like whenever I have a, a, a cook a nice, I don't know what kind of steaks, they were called T-bones or, or whatever, ribeyes. When I, you get that little knuckle of fat on the end, I always eat that first and it melts in your mouth and that's delicious. And I usually can't finish a steak. I do like eating pork chops and ham. I just have to figure out a way to add more fat in there. Maybe I should just pour like the bacon grease I save in there or just put pats of butter on it. But I, that's really not, too enjoyable. I, or maybe I can make a cream soup perhaps out of the, the pork leftovers. I'll have to figure out a way to uh, beef up the fat levels, if you know what I mean. So that's it for today's low carb keto carnivore discussion. Do you have that kind of similar feeling about the various meats? And do you notice that a lean meat does, you do want to eat more of it? I don't know. Hit the bell and subscribe and we'll talk more later.